Hi guys, Jacob here. Today I'm doing a quick video on how much my BMW 520D from 2013 has cost me and whether a high-ish high mileage 5 Series is a good idea or if, is it going to cost you a fortune once you've bought one. So especially now they're about five or six grand, they seem quite a good bargain, but how many problems do you get once you've bought it. Um, today, hopefully, I'm going to answer those questions. So, I've got a long list here. I separated it into two. Um, I've got mechanical problems that needed to be fixed and general servicing, um, because I feel like they do need to be separated. Um, so I'm going to go straight in with the mechanical problems. So um, I bought the car with about 95,000 miles on the clock. At 97,000 miles, the clutch was definitely on its way out. Um, and so a new clutch was £194.74. Um, and it also needed four new bolt clutch bolts for £11.13. Um, about a year later, every time I went around a corner, I heard this annoying grinding noise from the rear, um, and it was a wheel bearing that was £46.19. Um, and then the other wheel bearing went, so that was another £46.19. Um, and then the most expensive item broke. Um, my front left light, um, the daylight running light, so you know the angel eyes, um, they light up. Um, literally, that's all they do, they're just daylight time running lights. Well, that is an MOT failure. I never knew that. Um, uh, it, we found out water had actually gone inside of it. Um, it we'd had really bad rain. Um, I, where I live gets flooded quite easily. So it wasn't really the car's fault. But anyway, water got inside, buggered the electronics, and the daytime running light failed, and the motor that moves the light up and down has failed. Um, that is an MOT failure. Not not the, the light that moves up and down, just a daytime running light is an MOT failure. So I needed to get that changed. Now, I could have bought a brand new unit from BMW, and that would have cost £1,052. Um, yeah. I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is. Anyway, I decided that was stupid. I'm not paying a fifth of the price of the car for a new light. Um, so I got a second-hand one um, that cost me £250. Um, that was from some scrap site. I thought it was pretty good, and it was in good nick. Um, anyway, so, the, so that was the most expensive item. So the total cost of all... Um, the items that have failed um, is t uh, is five hundred and forty seven pounds. Um, I s I rounded it up. I couldn't be bothered with the pence. But anyway, five hundred forty seven pounds. Um, however, there's a problem. You need to think about labour because that's just all the parts. That's not the labour. Um, I did it for just the parts because some people who buy this car will be doing all the work themselves. For people who aren't doing the work themselves, this is for you. Um, so it took four hours to replace the clutch, two and a half hours um, for the first wheel bearing and two and a half hours for the second wheel bearing. Um, and it took one hour to change the light because apparently they have to take all the bumper off and stuff like that. Anyway, so that is 10 hours. Um, the labour cost is £55 an hour. Um, so that would come to £550. So the co total cost for all the items that have gone wrong is £1,097. Um, so that's all the mechanical problems. If you're still awake, we're now going to go through the services. Um, <laughs> right, so um, service items, um, oil £39, oil filter £8.81, so um, for a service it's £47.81, um, and of course it's about half an hour to and do that um, but totally it's about it's about 60 or 70 pounds for a surface isn't it nowadays um brakes my front discs went so that was 130 pounds 135 pounds sorry um front pads also then needed to be changed so that, that was 91 pound 42 they were brembos um then i needed a front um pad sensor that was 35 pound um then it was then the rear pads went so that was twenty one pound thirty for the pads um, and fifteen pound for the sensor. I don't know why the rear pads are so much more cheaper than the front, but 
they are. Um, so a total cost then um, of £345.53 for all the um, pads and the services. Um, but that's without labour yet again. So if we want to add labour on, that would be, I think I worked it out, it's something like five hours of labour. So that is £275. Um, so three, four, five plus two, seven, five. I don't know what that is. You can add it up, but um, it, it's 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 not too bad. I wouldn't say it's too expensive. I'm sure some people would argue in the comment section. Um, please keep your opinions to yourself because I can't be bothered with arguments of oh, I paid forty two pounds an hour for my hourly rate. Oh, I paid eighty five. Okay, it's just. It's just a nice, simple way of doing it. Um, of course, make your own calculations for however much your mechanic charges. Um, then we've got tyres. The last thing, if you're still awake and listening to the video, the last thing is tyres. Um, £260 for four of them. They were £65 each. I didn't go for the top end ones. Top end ones were about £110. So, um, but, you know, um, the car's so heavy. Um, and it just grips. It doesn't really matter. I know people are going to start arguing. Oh, it doesn't matter what tyres you have. Um, but I haven't really noticed the di a difference when this car had um, really cheap tyres on. And recently I got more expensive tyres. But this is just the like a mid-range tyre. Um, but I, I didn't really notice much of the difference. Because the car's so heavy and it's not that powerful. You can't really get the rear end out that easily. So... Um, you, you you won't know it it grips so well i don't think again a really expensive tire for this car is worth it however that's my opinion i'm sure you guys will have different opinions if you probably have a much faster more performance car then of course tires are going to make a difference but for something like this car it doesn't make too much of a difference um especially if you're not going to be ragging it everywhere like i i'm not it's a cruiser so yeah anyway so yeah total cost of tires is 520 pounds um, and that was um, for, or, um, I had to get two sets of tyres, I got a first set when I just got the car, and a second set literally a few months ago, so they last about two years. Now, the important question, how much has the car cost me in total, including services um, and mechanical problems? Well, that number is... Drum, I don't have a drum. That's that's your drum. That's the best you're gonna get for the drum roll. Um, two thousand two hundred and thirty-seven pound fifty-five pence. Um, so that is not too bad. It's not. It's not great. Don't get me wrong, but it's a high mileage BMW. Um, like it's 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 not going to be perfect. Um, but I've also worked that out monthly. So I've had the car roughly two years. So if you divide that by 24, you get a monthly cost for service and all mechanical problems of £118.62. Now, for some people, so I always I always work it out on how much the car will, will cost you every month because that's how most people people do their insurance monthly now, their mortgage monthly now, their phone payments monthly. So it's nice to kind of work it out in a month if you get it all together and work out. £118.62 it cost me. Now, how much... Uh, so, you, you know, that's services and mechanical problems. Um, so if you work out how much, um, so you can probably half that because they were roughly about a grand each. So let's say 60, let's say 60 pound a month for mechanical problems. So if you work out a, uh, what's it called? The, the thing, the thing I'm, I'm gonna, it, I'll put a word like maybe here what the word is, um, it's not insurance, but a warranty. There you go. I won't need to put it there. A warranty. If you get a warranty out, that's about, I think warranty is about three, four hundred pounds. Um, would I say it's worth it? Probably. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know because some warranties are cheeky bastards. Like my warranty, a clutch didn't cover it. Um, a clutch was a wear and tear part. So I wouldn't say warranty is that worth it. Um, however, if you want to take one out, sure do it but that's it's roughly 60 pound a month if you don't take a warranty out for my car anyway so yeah so yeah total 2237 pound 55 is how much my car has cost me to run for two years 
Um, so overall, I don't think it's terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, supposed to be short, but now coming up to 10 minute long video. Um, I hope that has helped you on buying the car um, and hopefully um, you'll want to buy it. Um, if it, I think it's a re for the money, you, you get so much car for the money, um, but just be prepared, things will break, um, but it's not going to be an arm and a leg. So yeah, anyway, stay safe, it's still during Covid times, um, and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye.